Survivor 46 is here, and so is On Fire, the only official Survivor podcast, and we have a twist this season. The winner of Survivor 45, D. Vyadaris, will be joining us every week. We're going behind the scenes of the biggest moments, the how and the why things happen, and the strategy and analysis you can only get from someone like me, a Survivor winner. Listen to On Fire, the official Survivor podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. I've got kids, and that means it's always about them. But I need support, too. That's where Ollie comes in, with their delightful, hard-working gummies. My partner and I can actually get a good night's sleep, so we'll both stand a chance of managing our stress responses. Even when the kids are doing parkour in the living room, discover Ollie vitamins and supplements. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2092. Be the change you wish to see in your relationship by Terry Gaspard of Gottman.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another installment of ORD, hosted and narrated by me, Greg Audino. I'm here with you every single day to read and offer commentary on some of the best relationship blogs around. Today, we will hear from Gottman.com, aka the Gottman Institute, which is one of the best resources for anyone to access material on how to improve their relationships. And this one covers some very important concepts. So let's get into it and start optimizing your life. Be the Change You Wish to See in Your Relationship by Terry Gaspard of Gottman.com Ben and Alicia are both waiting for the other person to change. I see it all the time in my private practice. I've been miserable for years, complains Ben. I've asked Alicia to give me space, but things don't appear to be changing. It feels like I can't breathe. Ben has his friends over every weekend, Alicia reflects. He doesn't consider my needs, and I feel so alone. If you want your partner to change, start by accepting them for who they are. In The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work, Dr. John Gottman says, quote, People can change only if they feel that they are basically liked and accepted the way that they are. When people feel criticized, disliked, and unappreciated, they are unable to change. Instead, they feel under siege and dig in to protect themselves. End quote. Instead of criticizing your partner, remind yourself of all the things you appreciate about them and share those things with them. Be genuinely interested in learning about why they see or do something differently than you and be open to respecting and even celebrating what makes each of you unique. Of course, there are some things that should never be tolerated in a relationship, like abuse, addiction, or infidelity. These behaviors should be addressed in a loving and direct way with the help of a professional. Even in those cases, it is possible to accept the person even if you do not accept their behavior. Vulnerability and intimacy go hand in hand. What Ben and Alicia don't realize is that they aren't really arguing about the amount of time they spend together. The underlying issue in their marriage is that neither partner is able to express their needs in a non-blameful way. They had never discussed what alone time and time together meant to each of them. By talking about this in my office, Ben finally understood Alicia's fear of being alone. His understanding led him to carve out time to spend together on weekends. Couples seeking a deeper emotional connection need to understand that vulnerability and intimacy go hand in hand. In other words, intimacy can only occur when partners are vulnerable enough to share their deepest hopes, fears, and dreams without judgment. Change starts with you. Do you spend more time questioning your partner's words or actions than examining your own? Blaming your partner can feel good in the moment but it's dangerous because it can lead to anger and resentment. Conflict is not a bad thing in relationships. After watching thousands of couples in his lab for over 40 years, Dr. Gottman discovered a simple truth. All couples argue. The difference between the couples that stay together and the ones who divorce is the way they repair after conflict. The masters of relationships take responsibility for their role on the issue and change their own behavior. Dr. Gottman explains, quote, The couples that don't repair those hurts end up with festering wounds that grow bigger by the day, the month, and the year until they finally break the couple apart. 
Repair is absolutely crucial in any kind of relationship, particularly intimate relationships. End quote. Here are four things you can do instead of trying to change your partner that can change your relationship for the better. Number one, be a better partner. Many people stay in bad relationships with the desire to change their partner. In Marriage Rules, Dr. Harriet Lerner writes, quote, If you don't change your part in a stuck pattern, no change will occur. Change comes from the bottom up, that is, from the person who is in the most pain or who has the least power, or who has lost or compromised too much in the relationship. End quote. Number two, focus on the issues at hand. When you focus on changing your partner, you miss the opportunity to work together to come up with a solution. You're no longer on the same team. Instead, focus on the issues at hand to meet both of your needs. Anger is usually a symptom of underlying hurt, fear, and frustration. So speak in I statements and focus on expressing your feelings in a vulnerable way that invites your partner to understand your pain rather than pushes them away. Number three, take responsibility. We are responsible for how our words and actions make our partner feel. Apologize to your partner by taking responsibility for the problem, even just a small piece, and this will validate their feelings, promote forgiveness, and allow you both to move on. Number four, complain without blame. In Why Marriages Succeed or Fail, Dr. Gottman explains that criticizing your partner is one of the four horsemen that predicts divorce. It's different from offering a critique or voicing a complaint. A criticism attacks the core of a person's character, while a complaint focuses on a specific behavior. Successful couples remember to give each other the benefit of the doubt and consider that they are both doing the best they can. In The Science of Trust, Dr. Gottman advises couples to talk about their feelings in terms of a positive need instead of what they don't need. By being good friends, you can build a healthy bond that will help you repair and navigate challenging moments together. There is a saying to be the change you wish to see in the world. Gandhi advises us, quote, If we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. End quote. I believe this to be true in relationships as well. Instead of trying to change your partner, be the change you wish to see in your relationship. You just listened to the post titled, Be the Change You Wish to See in Your Relationship, by Terry Gaspard of Gottman.com. Now, I am a big believer that if you want to be your best self in your relationships, or in anything you do, you need to fuel yourself properly. And that's why I'm so happy to have this show sponsored by Factor. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easy. You'll have over 35 options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale, and healthy options done easily. Not to mention it's flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing anywhere from 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime with no hassle whatsoever if something changes. So, head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda, you never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. All right, and thanks to Terry for providing us with yet another post this week that challenges us to consider how we can think about healthy change in our relationships and take accountability for that. One part of this article I really liked was the quote from John Gottman early on about how people are more apt to changing if they already feel liked and appreciated. This is a wonderful addition to the article, 
not only because it's terrific advice, but because we should always be thinking about how people receive information and suggestions. Under what circumstances do you think someone would feel safe enough to make changes? Well, how about if they have someone doing it alongside them? Sure. So what if you were to start making changes this way, by making space for both you and your partner to maybe talk about frustrations, and then committing to changes together? Or what if whichever one of you would like to make a change enlists the help of the other? So how can you deliberately support and make change easier for one another? Look, we all know that how we react to certain words, stimuli, social cues, whatever, depends on many different factors. This is true of all people. So think about how to use this truth to your advantage before creating change for yourself or helping your partner to do the same. But with that, we are going to wrap things up for today, everybody. Once again, a big thank you to Terry for sharing. And of course, thanks to all of you for tuning in and doing right by your relationships today. Enjoy the rest of your day and be sure to join us again tomorrow for more, where your optimal life awaits.